guys, this is Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your daily horoscope and energy reading for July 30th, and the moon moves into Aquarius, and I always love Aquarius moons because they allow me to, like, emotionally detach, and as a Cancer, I love anything that allows me to detach. So, let's talk today about what's going on, because we still have that Yod asking us a question. You know, we've got this this Pluto and Capricorn, and we've got Neptune and Pisces. So there, those are the sextile at the bottom of your yacht. And your yacht is kind of like an energy that kind of, I guess, looks like this on a needle on the chart. And so those, anytime that you have something to deal with what you're idealizing, as long as you make it based on reality, as long as you make it based on longevity, as long as you make it based on something that you can tangibly get as long as it empowers you, as long as it's something that you can bring forward successfully, there's going to be a powerful conversation about that. Now, anytime you have this yod, it's like God is asking you a question or your spiritual being is asking you a question or your angels or, I don't know, aliens, whatever you believe, something is asking you a question about what you truly and deeply want to idealize. But but also what is based on reality. But at the very top of your yod, right, you have these, these fancy full energies at the bottom, right? And it's opposing these conversations. So we've got the sun and mercury, and we've got, I mean, excuse me, we've got the sun in Leo, and we've got mercury in Leo conjuncting. So whatever sets up your sun, is you want, you're going to want to passionately talk about these things. And at some time, it can be in opposition. You guys, perhaps there is a karmic issue that you guys need to go back and revisit. Now, we do have Venus in Virgo in retrograde. So it's going to be pulling back old feelings from your past, past people that you may have done something to. And so that's going to bring up that karmic feeling like you have to go resolve it. Like you have to go take care of it. You have to go pursue that long lost love. You have to go revisit your past in order to be able to have a successful future. You need to know there's something that comes from your past that you need to know that's going to inevitably give you the key to the future, all right? But you have to have a conversation about that. So this is going to be passion oriented. It's going to be it's going to be all Leo heart, right? Leo rules the heart. So it's going to be everything that that makes you spunky and want to persevere and want you to move forward it's creative it's romantic it's luscious energy and this is very powerful this is a very very powerful energy to be manifested in and so I really want you to understand that anything that comes up from you you're going to feel it's such a amazing level I mean honest to goodness now here's the wild card in today we have Jupiter in Leo and Venus in Virgo is going to be trining Uranus and Aries. And then we have Mercury in Leo and we have the Sun in Leo trining Uranus in Aries. Guys, so this is whatever comes from your heart, whatever manifests from deep down within you. And, and, and I'm going to say that probably that this is going to have something to do with what was a past related issue, a karmic issue. Um, and guess what? This isn't about, this week isn't about a karmic week about let's hand you your ass and see what you do with it through painful circumstances. This is going to be about idealizing and wanting that long lost love, that I, that person that you know is the one for you. And, and it's in a glorious Saturn and Scorpio, right? Scorpio is energy that is not just about death and oppression and jealousy and all the dark stuff in you. You know, Scorpio energy can be about rebirth, renewal. It can be about reinvention of yourself. It can be about facing yourself and finding power. Remember that Pluto is the ruler of Saturn, and Pluto's in a scrumptious mood this week, a really scrumptious mood. So there is a lot of empowerment going to take place if you hit these things head on. It's kind of like when you have a slingshot, right? And you're pulling back on that rubber band and you've got that stone in there, right? And you're pulling back and you're aiming at something, right? And you let go as you pull back, you pull back just far enough to let go and get the velocity that you need, right? To shoot whatever it is that you're shooting. And it's not a fracking bird. Don't be mean to animals. 
I'm, maybe it's a leaf, okay? Don't be freaking mean to animals because I love animals. But I'm just saying, you know, it's just that velocity of pulling back and springing forward. So I really want you guys to really honestly um, do that today. And it's going to have unexpected results. You know, everybody thinks they know people and they know how they're going to react. And I can tell you that doing this long enough, doing what I do long enough, you cannot predict human behavior. You don't know how they're going to react. And so if you are being apprehensive about talking to somebody about something that happened in your past, this is the week to do it. Because it's like if you would have talked about it last week, you would have had a hellstorm. On the week before that, you would have had negative energy and negative results and you would have had all of this um unusual energy because at that time uranus and aries was squaring off with some powerful energies and so you got a lot of unexpected um results from that but this is not that week this week it uranus and aries is in trines it's in trines with love it's in trines with passion romance creative endeavors Finding that dream house, you know, picturing that all out beautiful experience, pleasing yourself, pleasing your senses, filling you up. It's all about getting all that. And it's unexpected internal power. It's unexpected. I'm okay with my life. I'm okay with the direction. I'm okay with pulling it forward. I'm okay with confronting whatever I need to confront because these unexpected results could actually generate something truly amazing. There is glorious sextile energy, guys. The moon in Aquarius is going to be sextiling Saturn in Scorpio today. So this is a very disconnected, futuristic energy, right? This is all about forward thinking, forward movement. This is all about pushing forward with your plans. It is going to be sextiling with Saturn in Scorpio. And so this is about obstacles being removed. This is about unexpected opportunity. This is about unexpected, passionate, emotional, um, energizing feelings of, like, say if you have a creative endeavor that really gets you. Like, my channel speaks to me. It gets to me. I do these things day in and day out. It doesn't matter if I'm crushed on the inside. I get up here. I put my makeup on. I do my hair. And I try to give you guys the most energized readings that I can and try to get you guys to tap into energy. Oftentimes when I have a hard time doing that myself, you know what? I do this anyway. You want to know why? Because it's my Leo heart. It's my passion. It's what I love to do. And so even though there is a job that I have to do to pay the bills, this is what I genuinely love to do. So I get up, I persevere, no matter what knocks me down, you see it pull me back up and you see it, me wipe it off and you see me fluff my hair and you see me stand back up and you see me reclaim my personal power week after week after week, no matter what Saturn pulls my way. And that's what I encourage you guys to do. Look, if something has taken your personal power, if somebody has left you, if somebody has crush your sweet little heart because this this week is going to be all about this beautiful internal organ called your heart right it's going to be getting that brain on board with your heart and so we've got to talk to it and we've got to get it on board with you know what everybody deserves love if somebody left you you deserve to have love again right if if he's off having love or she's off having love guess what you get to have it too if, if your life ends, that means it makes room for a new beginning. F the stuff that I don't want to hear anymore that your life is over. Your life is not over. It is a new beginning. It's a new beginning for everybody. We are in the age of a brand new beginning, of forward thinking, of an awakening, of incredibly beautiful energy. We do not have time to let Saturn steal our thunder. Look, if Saturn rocked your boat couple weeks ago or last week, you know what? It did it because it's sick and tired of you standing in your own way. It threw up some obstacles because it wants you to go over there, sweets. It doesn't want you walking the same fracking stupid past path that you've been doing. Knock it off. Walk forward. You know what? If you have an addiction, if you have something that takes you down, if you if you have internal suffering, if you are self-sabotaging, if you are stealing your own personal power, 
knock it off. Use Leo heart energy. Use Uranus in wonderful, pleasurable conversations with Pluto to empower you, to get you up. You know what? Today's a day that if you have addiction, go check into a program. You know what? Do the unexpected. Go take care of it. Don't fall into the category of you're always going to be a freaking ridiculous mess. You're not going to always be a mess. You're going to conquer it. You're going to stand at the top of your mountain. You're going to plant your flag, and you are going to victoriously overcome F this crap of being a victim. We're not victims. We're victorious. We've got the we've got the pride and the heart of a lion. Every one of us. You don't have to have Leo energy to tap into this energy. You just sit there and meditate, and it will fill you up, and it'll make you freaking sick and tired of being a victim when you're the freaking king of your own jungle, bitches. Rock that. Oh yeah. I don't know. Oh my God. Must be this. There's too much spunky Uranus energy in here. And you know what? There's like lots of Leo energy in here. I'm spunky. Not to mention, I really dig Leo energy because you know what? When I get pathetic, I tap into my Leo shit. And then I'm like, okay, <sighs> it's time to be a Leo. It's time to be a lion. You know, my that my that one of my favorite songs is Katy Perry's Roar. And when she's like, Roar, roar, and I'm like, roar, like, I'm totally that girl, like, F that, like, victim no more, call today, victim no more, educate yourself, go get, um, signed up to a program, go talk to people, you know what, if people start to poop on your parade and it starts to dampen your authentic need to change something, screw them. Like, we're not going to stand for who we are. We're here to manifest. We're here to create an inner self that's strong and delicious, and we persevere. We're powerful creatures on this planet. We don't got time for this. Look at this Uranus energy. Look at this Leo energy. Do you understand what a gift this week is? It's glorious, and it's beautiful, and I'm so thankful for it because there are so many weeks that I give you that are full of just suffering and hard news that I got to give you, and I try to find a way to give it to you the best way that I can, but I don't even need to work that hard this week because this week is a victory week this week is independence week this week is let's let's beat our obstacles let's let's go stand up against our demons and let's go take our sword and drive a freaking sword into their heart and just cut them down and break them we're no longer going to stand for who we are honey we're more than that and you're more than that don't let what happened in the past define you as a human being in the future. I love you and I look forward to talking to you guys again tomorrow.